we got the hottest nails with the flyest host. DJs on the ones and twos, giving it the most. There's no need to boast, there's no need to brag. We're just talking turps, so just grab a slab. Listen up closely, I might be moving too fast. Welcome to the capital of the land of dance. After a long day of monotonous work, I sit back and tune in to talk in turps. Yo! We're back! We survived another week of the fuckery! The fuckery is upon us! And we back in the building for yes. another installment of the show that we lovingly refer to as Talking Turks with District Devils! Everybody make, make some motherfucking noise! I need tonight. a word from our sponsor immediately! We need a word from our sponsor. All right, oh, fuck it, a, I'll he, do it myself. Fuck, fuck Trump. Trump. Fuck yeah, up. that part. Fuck That's how up. we feeling. Yo, yo, Trump, you about to go to jail, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> they about to get you, my nigga. Yo, Cheeto face, motherfucker. Yo, I hope so, man. They about to get you. Yo, this is like the longest time somebody has been in trouble at work. Yo, bro, they about ever. to get him. He been on trouble at work since day one. Look here, <laughs> this nigga Trump is hotter than any vendor you ever met in Washington D.C. Yo, Trump is, is the hottest. Yo, stay the fuck away from Trump, my nigga. They on him. They are. On Don't call that nigga talking Don't about where's my it. taxes at. Don't call that nigga talk about, yo, look, my cousin is Mexican, but he was born here. Jabroni. Like, don't call that nigga talking none of that crazy shit. He got bigger don't, fish to fry. Don't do it. He ain't even worried about the wall no more. Nope. He try to stay out from behind the wall. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, they about to so, put them behind Yeah, him. yo, look at Don't fuck with the nigga Trump. Trump yeah. hot. Trump's a hot boy. Listen hot here. Hot boy. Don't fuck with that boy. But, bud. Bud, how yes. are you? I'm good, baby. How you feeling? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Yes. How was your week? Baby. No complaints. It's no cold, complaints. but you know what's warm when you got your family and friends and a good vape pen courtesy of <laughs> your good your 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 buddy here. Yeah. Your guy. So uh, you know, big shouts to uh Dank Vapes. They've yeah. been very tasty. Shout out. Shout, shout out, out to Dank Vapes. Yeah, very tasty. Very tasty. Very tasty. Um but you know, just been chilling, getting ready for this next vintage party. Yeah, uh, we got, we got any know, uh we, we, got we any do any have some wiki new wiki footage. Wiki. Uh Jake. If uh, you know a little vintage, uh, you know. Let's get a little vintage. Let's, let's get it going. Let's 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 let them see what's going down this time. And I'm over. I'm like, I'm <laughs> Yes, that, that happened right happen. here in DC. Yo, look at here, man. Yo, I hope Cam is doing good. You know what I'm saying? Cam man? is doing great, but... He got a little crazy out Yo, here. hold on, man. Since we talking about Cam... Let's talk about killer! Can we talk about Dipset just in general? Okay. Now, as long as we're not going to talk about how often I was told I look like Jim Jones when I had No, no, no. Cool. We're, not, we're not going back to that. That's That was 10 years ago. Bro, it was worse. Worst ten was, years ago of my life. That was ten years ago. We're not going. We're not going to revisit but that. But now they tell me I look like the uncle from the fucking working me video. Ooh. I get that now. So I don't know what's better or worse. I get Morpheus a lot too. Morpheus? Mor for a motherfucking Morpheus, bro. You Larry Fishburne. Okay, you could be the Puerto Rican Larry Fishburne. I can see that. I can see that. Neo. Okay. You pick <laughs> red or black bean. <laughs> Yo, this guy, this guy. <laughs> hey, you know you Yo, got it. no, but don't get me off the topic of Dipset. Okay, Dipset, Jules, San we were about Jules Dipset. Santana. I heard some things. Really is disappointed in me, man. Is this true? He said he was on that thing. 
He said it was he said it was pain pills, but I never seen pain pills take your teeth out. Oh yeah, yeah. So I think he may, he may have been some on some other shit. Are you insinuating that it just keeps calling him, son? He show you how to strap it on, go, go take trips with the package on. Remember, he used to say all that yeah. shit ten years ago. Yeah, now look at. But out. he didn't say nothing about getting his crackage on. Clearly, but now he is. So are you telling uh, me it's hereditary? That Jewels is now smoking base. Son, it's, I don't know what's on Jewels' plate, but Jewels is on some other shit. It's hereditary. Is it? Is it? It's hereditary. The the crack usage. It's hereditary. The crack. It's hereditary. He did call himself the human crack. He did call himself the human crack in the flesh. It's starting to, hey, 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 wait a minute. He couldn't no. feel his wait, face. Wait, 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 wait. You know? I used to go by human heroin. You sure did. I've never, ever, ever Never get high on your own life. supply. Okay. Number five. I'm sure heroin is awesome. It's Yo, just not my cup of tea. It's just not you know for me, like, son. It's just, just not, not my for thing. me. Wah, 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 wah. wah. Yo. All right, well, look. So apparently, Jewel Santana smoking crack. Jewel Santana is doing a bid Fuck. right now, two and a half years or some shit. Fuck. For nice sneaking crack is way more for, the, for the gun at the New Jersey, oh, no. uh, the Newark Airport Fuck. in his bag. Jewel's along, my along with the the Zannies in his bag. Um, Aye. that's fucked up. No you, base. You're moving real bad. Then he ran out the airport. You remember that shit? Fuck you. He like Jewel's. put this bag up there. And that is crackheadish behavior. Come on now, yo, bro. I think this isn't a conspiracy. I think you might be onto something. Son, they brought down. They brought down Dipset. With crack? Clearly, yo. They brought yo, up Dipset with crack and Trump brought him down with crack for trying to take down fuck Dipset Trump. with crack. Yo, fuck him. Gave him the whole 2006, so look, 2008. So this is our official conspiracy theory. Yep. Donald Trump is trying to break up Dipset by making Joel Santana smoke crack. Clearly, Trump's Clearly. a bitch. It's far fetched, but the dude Alex Jones be saying some crazier shit. Son, son, I, 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 yo. As a matter of fact, th yo, th I sent to the to the Listen Vision Instagram. Do you have access to that, good sir? No. Mm. I sent a fucking awesome video of Alex Jones oh smoking God. a fucking blunt. Oh, fucking Joe Rogan. Oh. And this Bama said the craziest shit. Maybe it with a quick Google, it'll I mean, come up. They're like two crazy but motherfuckers. Alex Jones, crazy. Joe Rogan. We have to see this video of them before smoking we move a blunt. Forward. Joe it's an Rogan actual video, yeah. Smoking a blunt with Alex Jones. He smokes a fucking Joe Rogan smokes a blunt with Alex Jones, and then I let the video tell the rest. What kind of racist shit are we in tune for? No, my 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 what, G. What's going on? He didn't. He wasn't. Listen, man, you gotta watch the fucking video, bro. Let's see. Like, Alex man, Jones. I'm just hoping that my, my brother, my brother Jake. Jacob is just masterful over there. I mean, he he's, he's, on, he's on. Here we go. Googles. Let's go. Here we go. Wrong sound. Yo. What? Oh, I thought that was the actual music. Oh, well, there's no sound. Oh, Fuck. He says oh. some shit. <laughs> this guy gets high and goes in. But wow. yo, fuck it. We got to see Alex Jones smoke a blunt. And I mean, Good that's for him. pretty funny. Good for him. The nigga's crazy. Live your best life. Listen to me. The Bama is fucking lunatic crazy. He is a Clearly. fucking whack a doodle. We know that. Okay. I just wanted to outline that. That we nigga's know. crazy. We know. All right. So we're, now, we're, we're still interested so why you wanted to us to see him puffing an L. For the week. What so what's I going do? on this week? La well, last week I, I, I did. Yeah, some what things. happened last week, Cuzzo? Last week I kicked it with uh, with the fam. Okay. We uh we turned up on Monday night. Yeah. With the, it was with, uh, uh, it was uh, Peach with, and Friends. Yes. It was oh, the, shout it was out the to Nug Peach. Porn sesh. I was the uh, Nug Porn. The Nug Porn. Yes. I fucking love some Nug So yeah, we did that, and then uh, we we pulled up here on Tuesday and we turned up. You were there. Yes, you were there. of course. That was pretty fucking awesome. It was you lit. Know? Then um, you know, Wednesday, I uh, you know, not much. I just kicked it. Thursday, pulled up here with Petey. You know what I'm saying? Of course. Then what I did on Friday? Friday, nothing much. Saturday. Yeah. I was kicking it with the fucking squadron. Yeah. And that was a good time. That was a, that was an awesome time. Who was also? Who was out? So, Squadron Supreme. Oh shit, the Squadron, Squadron Supreme. Squadron Supreme. Shout Big out shows. my fam, uh, DC Propaganda. We you see you. We see you. We see you. Good time. It was. It was fun times had by all. Yes. Then, I went to the comic book store. Hey, 
Oh, do you have? I want to show you guys. The Let's depth. see your booty. I want to show. No, Pause. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to show you the depths of my walking deaditude. Okay. Ooh. So these are called copendums, if I'm not mistaken, Co and these have like six comics in each one, right? Uh, so I picked up these right here. I'm not even supposed to read yet because I don't even know what's going on there. But if any of you guys watch The Walking Dead on TV, wow. this is the actual arc they're in right now with the Whisperers. Wow. And if you've seen the character on TV, he looks just like the fucking character in the comic book. They did a great job of casting. And I feel like such a nerd for having this conversation with you, you but I feel like I need to share a little bit of myself with uh, you guys. And so, yeah. Fuck if you hire not, nigga. You wow. gonna listen to my motherfucking Walking Dead recap? Look, Walking Dead was lit this week. Oh my god! Know I'm thinking about making this a segment every Somebody week. Somebody don't Dead do that. Recap. Can we get a veto on what? this Walking what? Dead? I'm the shit. dictator here. What the fuck? Hey, There's look, no vetoes here. Fuck Trump. What do you mean? Do fuck you mean? Trump. Anyway, so yeah, I did that, and that's what I did. That sounds fun. Yeah, I'm, I had a blast. I'm glad. So are you not supposed to open those, like, to crease them? Are you not, are you, like, ever going to read those? I have to read them. I'm going to most likely read them on the shitter. Oh. That's why I get my best reading done. True. And True. I come up with my best ideas on the shout, shitter. Shout out to toilet reading. Shout out to fucking shitter reading. Yes. Without yes. it, most of my genius would not occur. That's how we got here. It's true. That's how we got here. It's true. So, so yeah. Lying. Now, I'm going to let the people know what we do every week, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, what's going on uh, this week? Let's so, fuck Trump. On Sunday nights. Sunday nights, what are we doing? Sunday nights, we're in the building. My oh, bro yeah. phone homie comes in here and he does his thing from 9 to 10 p.m. Shout out to the For the homie. Slab Hour, man. Yes. He's about 200 episodes in, man. I'm the trying to play catch up. Slab, huh? Trying to play catch up. Slab, it's going to take a long time. Yes. You're so witty. Oh, jeez. Phone homie. I'm loving it. You trying to catch up? Yo, homie, I'm trying to play catch up, baby. Woo. So, yeah. That's from 9 to 10 every Sunday, man. Wow. Monday, the fam DC Farmers in the house from 9, from 9 to 10 p.m. as well. Wow. And, you know, they're delivering an amazing show, man. They got a great show. Make sure you tune in Monday night. Tuesday. What's on Tuesday? Tuesday. What's the Tuesday? Tuesday, we walking this motherfucker oh, here. Oh, right here. Like we own Like shit. we invented sliced bread yes. or the pocket on the t-shirt. A yes. whole lot of gang We shit. cloud this bitch the fuck up. Yes. Like And shit. we bring the people. Another installment of, of the, the show, show that we love and leave referred to as Talking Terms with District Dead. Everybody make, make some, some motherfucking noise. Fuck the Trump. <laughs> Fuck that wild <laughs> Cheeto looking punk. Fuck the Trump. Yeah. yeah, we do that every fucking that way. Tuesday Every night. Tuesday. Nine o'clock. Every Tuesday, man. We in here. And Nine we deliver, you know, the show. And... and the best shit you ever seen. We're, we're quickly approaching 100 episodes. I feel like we're getting really close. We're on the verge. We're getting really fucking close, man. Yes. And uh, I'm excited about that. I'm excited for what the future holds, too. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Then Wednesday. What's up, Wednesday? We take the day off. We deserve it. We all deserve it. Then Thursday. Thursday, we're in the building. With the little bro, I think we're working on episode number 14 right now. 14. Episode 15. No, we just did 14. Episode number 15 with the little bro, Peter Plains, man. Talk Drip Live. Talk drip. From 9 to 10 in the p.m. This week, my fam, Cuatro Vente, is bringing through, uh, bringing through the Vente. homie. Bringing through the homie, uh, Montana. Wow. Montana's coming to rock on the show. He's getting a twofer. So he's coming to rock on a, he's, he's on the motherfucking Drip Live show. Make sure you tune in from 9 to 10 p.m. Quattro this Thursday. Bente. Motherfucking Sleazy Montana That's in the up. building. Going you know what I'm in. saying? He got the twofer, yo. He, came, yo, he knocked it he out the park over killed, here. He killed it over here. Yo, he killed it. He killed it over here. He I did his like, thing. That was like radio club shit I, I was I was very there. impressed. Yeah, that was professional. He turned the fuck up. Yeah. Yeah, so. He's going to turn up this he's Thursday gonna turn on Talk up Drip Live with the fam. Talk Drip, man. PD El Pessimista. Get your shit ready. Get your shit right, man. PD being pessimista. Yeah, man. Because PD will pim, talk. Pim, pim. PD will talk about your kicks quick, fast. Yo, don't. You better come in here looking fly if you coming on Thursday, because PD will roast you. He'd be like, "Yo, what are those?" At least, yeah, the shoe. He'll roast your shoe. Everything else he'll show you love, but the shoe, he's gonna roast you. All right. He's probably gonna have on like a fifteen hundred dollar sneaker just that don't look like it costs fifteen hundred, but it was fifteen hundred. That's the kind of shit he does. You know? Yo, man. Me, me, I don't do that shit. Shit is real. I got grandkids and shit. Yo, man, tell them. I, I wear my shoes from Payless. I don't know if you know. Yo, son, Payless is closing, son. 
Payless is like that. Yo, you better, I'm you better get ready. I'm wearing Jordans. You, you know said what I'm saying? Jordans. Team Jordans. <laughs> so, yo, Team is this the part? Oh, wait a minute. I want to shout out the fam, the Stash Products, man. Oh, shit, please. They fucking, they just released the motherfucking Rio, man. And uh, I had five of them and they're gone. This one here is actually sold already. It's spoken for. I'm, I'm literally, I'm fronting for IG right You're now. You're literally showing I, somebody yeah. else shit. Yes. This Damn. is owned by High Little Peach. This is hey. High Little Peach's rig. Shout out to the Manita gang. Shout out to High the Manita. Peach. Peach. I'm going to show you how 100 Peach keeps it. How? Peach what picked that? up one last night. Yeah, man. And um, shout out to my little bro, DJ Sandman. Hey. The understudy, you know what I'm saying? Shout out so to my Sandman bro. So Sandman realized that I left and that he didn't get to get his. Wow. And the Manita made sure that Sandman got his joint. So wow. she gave up her she sacrificed fucking, hers. She gave up hers to wow. make sure that Sandman had his. Now that so I told her, I said, look, don't worry, Manita, I'm gonna hold this for you. Yeah. It's safe in the building, don't yeah. worry. And look, I'm just showing it off. If it breaks, I'm sorry. Well, we got you. You know, we'll get it on the next drop. Yes, man. Shout to Stash so, yeah. Products. It's just Yo. crazy. Yeah, man. Shout out to the Stash Products, man. They finally dropped it. I'm I'm really excited to take my dab of rosin that I have in here. I've got some, oh, Trilly's back too. I forgot to tell you guys, so. Shout out to Trilly. Shout out to motherfucking Trilly Wonka, my motherfucking brother and lifetime sponsor, lifetime supporter. Right now we got the motherfucking Banana Punch Premium Live Rosin. I'm about to kick myself right in in the Fosteferin, as my brother phone homie would say. Look it up, the Fosteferin is a part of your panesse. Say that five times fast. Yes, the, f- the Fosteferin is panesse. part of your panesse. Panesse. It helps with the the panesse finesse. So I'm gonna get myself looped up over here. Whoa. Oh! That sounds like the battle cry of my people! Fuck Trump! Fuck Trump! Fuck Trump! Fuck Trump! Fuck Trump! Fuck Trump! The vein cam. I don't, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. is all about. We're all about erasing the stigma that we're just lazy stoners and all we do is get high. Cold, cold pizza. Now, oh, oh, God. Look at the fucking, look at the handiwork by fucking Nico the Frico, though. Look at that handiwork. Don't you be looking at my motherfucking manicure, all right? Me and Joel Santana smoke crack together and we get stressed out and I bite my nails. <laughs> Oh, no. Dude. I'm too old to smoke crack. Yeah, man. They be out here. Fuck. Wow. I'm too, uh, crack is whack in my Whitney Houston voice. Crack is whack, Diane. Crack is beneath me. 
I'm Puerto Rican. I sniff cocaine. Oh, Fuck Trump. No, I don't sniff cocaine. I like it. Come on. Man. But I do snort dabs. Oh, God. Don't do that shit. Again. <laughs> okay. Is that good for a cold, though? What? Snort, snorting dabs? No? I would think that might... I would assume it's good for anything. Okay. I mean, you might have some medicinal purposes. I have a problem. Clearing up your sinus and shit. But... Can I borrow one of your two-for-one lighters? Ah. Oh, you no longer carry a lighter. I forgot you retired. No, you've, you've leveled up. I've transitioned. I've transitioned to... Shout out yeah. to Jay-Z the barber. Shout out to fucking Jake. Can we get a moment of silence? For what? Let's get a moment of silence for my fade that J.C. the barber has killed once again. May it rest in peace. How do I say goodbye to what we had? Yo, I'm troubled about this Michael Jackson documentary, but we're going to need a whole other episode. Do we want to go there? Do we want to go I'm there? troubled, bro. There wanna, was some strange things said. You don't want to go said. there. Because, bro, bro I'm, I'm, I'm like, yo, man, fucking leave Michael out of this shit, all right? Hey, listen to here. My nigga, some of this shit I heard was troubling. Michael, R. Kelly, and Bill Crosby all in the same boat. Hey, look, listen, yo, listen. Where is the Harvey Weinstein documentary, though? I don't know. I'm waiting for, yo, listen. Next is Prince. When is the Harvey Weinstein trial I'm waiting for them started? to tell me that Prince was a fucking Bill uh, Cosby's already a serial in killer. Jail, dog. And he had 7,000 bodies under his house, and that's <sighs> why the doves cried. Come on, man. I don't even want to disrespect the Prince of this music game, man. The King and the Prince in the same breath. Y'all better leave Prince out of this too, man. Yo, listen. Yo, listen, they even <laughs> mentioned, they even mentioned um, shenanigans that involve bubbles. No, Yo, I, man. I totally made that up. I, I swear I ain't watching this I bullshit, man. I made See? That I, hey, I made there that up. There probably is. I mean, the... I haven't seen all the parts yet. It might be in there. Yo, but then Oprah co-signed, right? I heard she was co-signing. My guy. Listen here. Yo, how Oprah gonna co-sign that Yo, shit? Yo, Oprah with the co-sign, though. Yo. Yo. I'm just saying. They bagging on, like, everybody right now. All right, here we go. It's now like it's time to do some news. Survival of the fittest. Virginia Senate passes a bill to allow school nurses to operate medical cannabis. Hey. So what does that mean? Like, they're allowed to give people bong hits and shit? Yo, they might be able to give them CBDs, maybe, at school? No, because CBD is not medical cannabis. Uh, so what do you think they're going to give them? So they'll be able to give the kids some That THC sounds like it makes sense. Meds. So last week, Virginia lawmakers authorized a bill that will now let school nurses provide medical cannabis to students on campus and at school events. The bill, SB 1632, also secures students with the official medical certification from suspension and or expulsion for possessing THCA or CBD oil. Wow. The bill passed on February 23rd in the House of Delegates by a margin of 95 to 1 and unanimously in the Senate by a vote of 40 to nothing. Under the current laws, possession of all forms of cannabis is prohibited and can end in expulsion and referral to law enforcement for prosecution. The measure was initiated in January by Senator Glenn Stuyvesant, who was a Republican from Richmond and he stated that the young people should have the same opportunity to use cannabis medications just like any other prescribed drug. Wow. He said Virginia students and their families depend on new safely produced and regulated cannabinoid and THCA oils mm. to treat a host of potentially debilitating conditions. There it is. The oils. It's probably the most concentrate, potent way to get it real quick. Yo, shout out to fucking yeah. LVS because this paper feels like they cut down a lot of trees for this shit. Damn. Boom. <sighs> you stepped your game up, bro. Thank you. I I'm reading my news on cardstock right now. Easy. My shit is lit. 
that's and a like paper cut off this shit. That's like resume shit. Yo, this shit is real. I, I feel like I could get a job with this. Yeah, Yo, you can't bend this. Woo. That's a figment of your imagination. This shit is made out of fucking uh vibrant. It's made from vibranium. vibranium. <laughs> this paper is made from vibranium, yo. So a staffer from Stuyvesant's office mentioned that what the bill had the support of teachers and school administrators. Legislative aide Nikki Thacker said. Nikki Thacker. Nikki fucking Thacker. She's she so said that both sexy. the Virginia School Board Association and the Virginia Education Association spoke in favor of the bill in a subcommittee. Hmm. Okay. According to High Times, under the bill, the Virginia Department of Health Professions will be required to create a standardized form of health professionals and the dispensing pharmaceutical processors to document the student certifications. The director of communications at the department, Diane Powers, claimed that the form would not be finished until next school year. She stated that the form cannot be implemented until after the law becomes effective July 1st, 2019, wow. and the oils will likely not be available for obtaining from a pharmaceutical processor until at least later the fall. Damn. So it's coming. Coming. You know what I'm saying? The executive director of the Virginia chapter of Normal Organization of Marijuana Reform Laws, yeah. um, Jen Michelle Padini, congratulated lawmakers for approving the bill. She said in a statement, we are incredibly pleased that the Virginia General Assembly recognizes the importance of ensuring students have access to these medicines without disruption to their school day. Now, instead of parents having to take their children off campus to administer their medicine, School health care providers will be able to provide necessary doses just as they would any other pharmaceutical. In addition to this, last week Virginia legislators also passed the bill SB 1557, Damn. which will now authorize nurse practitioners and physician assistants as well as doctors to write recommendations to patients to use THCA and CBD oil. Wow. So let me make a correction. CBD is part of can, uh, medical cannabis. Okay. But it is there's nothing psychoactive in the plant. It, right. It, it literally contains the medicinal part of the plant. And, and you can find it anywhere without a prescription. Yep. So you do not need a medical cannabis card to obtain CBD. I just want to be very clear on that. I don't want to le mislead anyone or confuse anyone. Moreover, the bill will allow regulators to structure rules for a wider audience of medical cannabis therapies, such as topicals, capsules, lozenges, and suppositories. <laughs> <laughs> Coming soon, top quality suppositories from District Dabbers and Dabberco may cause uncontrollable diarrhea. Woo. Right on up there, kids. Yo, I'm fucking... Yo, look, I don't even care if one of y'all motherfuckers laughed at that joke. I'm fucking hilarious. Yo. Okay? I can die happy after that joke. Okay? I miss it. So SB 1557 was kicked off by Republican senator. What? Fuck these assholes in their names. Listen. Go ahead. Break it. Listen. Kick it. This Bama. Republican Senator Sayabon Donovant. Wow. Motherfucking Sayabon Donovant. Okay. He sounds like he get high. Who is also a physician and advocate for increased access to medical cannabis. Oh. She's, oh, it's abroad. Oh. oh, my God. This guy. That does not sound like a girly name at all. She okay. is. That should sound like an engineer. She's a doctor. She though, is so. probably from a different ethnicity that's she is not way smarter than i am or so, could ever hope to be i assure you so don't don't take me making fun of her name as you know don't use that as your judgment no she no. stated that the bill will authorize patients easier access to their prescribed drugs she said in a statement allowing nurse practitioners to make treatment available will shorten the wait time and suffering for patients dealing with pain it is an effective way for physicians to offer low-cost and low-risk remedies to their patients. With all this said, all that's left is the signature by Governor Ralph Northam. Oh. Blackface Ralph? Good old Ralphie. Or KKK Ralph. That is that is Blackface Ralph, huh? Is He didn't say which one he was. Yo, look, my guy, you're in a jam right now. You did that stupid shit. You, we, 
Give us the weed, my guy. Yeah, you're about to do the moonwalk. We might, shit. we might, you know. Look, look, other dudes have got away with with yeah. doing reckless shit. Reckless. Give us the weed. Come to a barbecue or two. We. We'll figure it out. You know what I'm saying? I'm speaking for brown people. Give us the weed. In for the Virginia. Room. Yeah, for Virginian brown folk. All the melanated folk in Virginia. Oof. Nah, we're not gonna look the other way. Just give us the weed. <laughs> <laughs> you still a piece of shit. Yeah. All right. With all this said, all that's left is for his signature. Uh huh. All right. Let's, now we're gonna go all the way across the world. Israeli Ministry of Health approves therapeutic MDMA PTSD treatment. Wow. That's Mali, folks. Wow. The Israeli Ministry of Health approves therapeutic MDMA. For PTSD treatment. That blows like your brain cells away. Wow. This is a new story. Here we go. After a government representative was sent to study about the substance from the Multidisciplinary Association for Psychedelic Studies. This is actually a thing. The Multidisciplinary Association for Psychedelic Studies. Wow. All right. Say that three times fast, You did it two times. I did it twice, right? The Multidisciplinary Association Ooh. for Psychedelic Studies. Israel has passed the use of MDMA to treat PTSD on 50 patients. Wow. Yeah. And they sweating. Woo! Wow. Damn. Ministry of Health official Bella Ben Gershon spoke to the Israeli newspaper Haaretz and said the ministry is taking this seriously with appropriate caution and in-depth investigation has been carried out. There is a considerable population in Israel of people suffering from PTSD oh. that is resistant to other treatment. According to High Times, treatment will take place in Haifa's Rambam Medical Center and psychiatric hospitals in Be'er Yaakov, Les Harishan, fuck you guys, and Be'er <laughs> Sheva. I feel like I'm reading the Torah. <laughs> MDMA's effects on PTSD are thought Shalom. of by many to be a huge selection, a huge section of research. It is estimated that 8% of U.S. residents have PTSD, and at any one time, at, no, 8% of U.S. residents have PTSD at any one time, for a total of 24.4 million people. Wow. So let me say that again. Hold on. 8%. What? of U.S. residents have PTSD at any one time for a total of 24.4 million people. We are fucked up, y'all. Clearly. Our country is fucked up. Yeah. It is, it is, in fact, it is so fucked up that 24.4 million of us suffer from PTSD. There's no wars over here. This is at home. It's at home. It's from Some of it's from your environment. Room. It's from racism. It's from being poor. It's from everything. It is from life, but it's that part rate of raises decently when one looks at the country's population of veterans, for whom the rate varies between eleven and twenty percent. Damn. High Time says stateside there has also been key movement on these issues. Maps. MAPS, which is that big long ass shit that I said before, yes. has announced a $26.9 million strategy to convince the FDA to make MDMA an approved medication by 2021. Wow, hot take, hot take, making it in your Look pharmacy. It. All you motherfuckers, don't go getting your glow sticks and your fucking Yo. hula hoops and shit out just yet. Oh. The organization's representatives met with the FDA to answer the government's entity, the government entity's questions regarding a protocol that MAPS submitted for similar tests to take place in the United States in 2017. The FDA approved two phase three clinical trials of MDMA's effects on the symptoms of PTSD, dubbing it a breakthrough therapy. Wow. This is from USA. So people going to be going to Israel. Shalom. You could go next door for that. I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. 
<laughs> yeah, look, I'm dumb funny. I'm, oh, I know. I know what Shalom is. I'm provocative and funny. Easy. But I'm, 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 I'm almost certain. In addition. Yeah. There are other states where politicians are handling it themselves when it comes to the drug's availability for therapeutic purposes. At the beginning of February, an Iowa state representative spoke out against the prohibition of MDMA and additional hallucinogenic drugs. This representative, Republican Jeff Shipley, shout out to Trippy Shipley, mm. you know what I'm saying? A significant body of research indicates that there are substantial medical benefits. The authorization of, of MDMA in the future would not be the first that the drug was approved for. You know, approved, approved for psychotherapy. Yeah. In the 70s, of course, the substance was utilized in therapy. However, in 1985, MDMA was categorized as a Schedule One drug. Hey. Yep. However, no, fuck however. Then, in 2001, the government increased sentencing requirements in the face of the drug's popularity with the rave scene. You see, I told you motherfuckers, it's the glow sticks. Y'all niggas making it hot, B. See? You see? Save it for the fucking PTSDers, bro. Bro, come on. Bro. You're harsh in my, my mellow. As it currently stands, penalties are 500 times higher than those of cannabis. No, I'm not going to say as it should be. Mm. That's what it says here. It says as it should be. I'm not mad at Molly. In parentheses. Molly's never treated me bad. So, yeah. Puts brains. I got the, I got the, I got the pittest. Okay. Puts holes in your brain, guys. Yeah. So a couple years ago, okay. the U.S. Sentencing Committee started a procedure to review MDMA sentencing guidelines. Okay. Director of Communications and Strategy at the Drug Policy Alliance, Jack Davies, said in a statement... This is an opportunity to learn a lesson from history and get it right this time. People who use psychedelics or MDMA shouldn't be vulnerable to any form of criminal punishment. They're already tripping balls. Damn. They got enough to deal with. Fuck. They Yo. draw is all funny. They're like, they thirsty as shit. That's fucked up. I mean, this is Schedule 1. I mean, you know, I mean... Other additional hand. therapies have been the subject of much interest when it comes to the treatment of PTSD. Last month, MAPS stated it had overcome significant institutional and governmental strides to properly achieve the world's first clinical trial of the impact smoking cannabis has on PTSD symptoms. Hmm. So in 10 years, when we have an opi... A crisis. With all this said, MDMA treats other conditions apart from PTSD. Last year, research found out the positive effects when the drug was taken by autistic adults. Mm. High Times states how the investigation further suggests that MDMA improves symptoms of social anxiety and causes less avoidance of social interaction. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Studies reveal that parents who use cannabis could potentially affect their kids during, before, and during pregnancy. Mm. Yeah. Way. Because there are still many federal restrictions, there is still very minimal data on what Quatro happens when bente. parents consume cannabis during or soon after pregnancy. I have so much to say on this, but I'm not. However... No, Cannabis insane. Wire put out an article discussing the data that the data is rising that implies that parents should proceed with caution when it comes to marijuana and that in some areas, the cannabis industry could be a major factor in postnatal usage. Mm. Something better. Unfortunately, mothers are held accountable when it comes to scrutiny for a baby's health when it's in the womb. But recent data shows that a father's marijuana... Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Damn. Damn. Why we got to throw daddy under the fucking bus, though? Let's hear it out. So daddy's consumption may also play a role in the offspring's development. Mm. High Times claims that it can reflect 
shared genetic vulnerabilities for potential cannabis use and offspring behavioral problems. Mm. Yes, I said problems. High Times refers to a study conducted in the Netherlands of 5,903 children that found that kids whose parents used marijuana showed more behavioral complexities, but not just by their mothers before or during the time period that they were pregnant with the children. In addition, the study revealed that kids with fathers who consumed cannabis were more prone to externalizing behavior issues mm. such as aggression and rebellion. Oh, However, the mm. Netherlands study did not reveal any correlation between parental cannabis use and internalizing issues with children such as social withdrawal, depression, or suicidal behavior. Oh, okay. The researchers concluded... Future studies with repeated assessments of parental psychopathology Ooh, and substance shit. use before, during, and after pregnancy will be needed to address this. Speaking of drugs. Referring back to how the cannabis industry could be playing a role in this is because, according to High Times, last year, researchers found that almost 70% of Colorado dispensaries were recommending cannabis products for mothers experiencing First trimester morning sickness. So they was telling these pregnant bros, look, I right, look, you keep vomiting, yep. smoke a J. There it is. Smoke a J, you be all right. Get, get yourself an edible. Smoke make, this dube. Make it work. You'll be good. You'll be great. You'll be fucking the tits. Dude. Calm that fucking depression right down. Just right like, the fuck down. All the way like, oh. You had that baby? Ooh. You're not feeling good about yourself when you look in the mirror? Pump and dump. Good to go. You know Smoke what it is. Smoke that. Hit that. Smoke that. Please. Those are stripes that you earned. <sighs> yes. Grr. Earned it. Earned it. Grr. Grr. Earned it. Fucking appreciate you, woman. For without you, there would be no child. There wouldn't be us. I'd be half your woman. I wouldn't be who I was. Listen here. Look here, my nigga. Peep Let's this, go. all right? This is my stance on this right here. Woman's History Month moment. Without saying too much, all right? Look. Women have dealt with a lot of fuck shit in life, right? <laughs> like, historically. <laughs> historically. Word is bond. They've dealt with a lot of bullshit. Word is bond. You know what I'm saying? So I think that if the broad gets pregnant and she wants to smoke a J... Or take a fucking bong hit because she feels sick or oh whatever guess. and it helps her. Shoot your fucking shot. I'm all for it. You Go know for what I'm it. saying? Now, I'm not saying that it's cool for me to see you taking 10,000 dabs a day and, you know, smoking 1,000 blunts a day. No. But, like, if you're going to take a little bong hit to help you with vomiting in the morning or you need a little bowl hit to get you through the fucking your oh, vomiting shit, I'm cool with that. Hits. Or maybe you got... And then and peep game. This, and I'm saying this from a guy, you know, I'm a grandparent now, so yeah, like, man. we didn't have like a vape as you an option. You had no vapes. You know what I'm saying? So now, if all it takes for you to not feel nauseous is hit this vape a couple times, I'm all for that. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I can't say I'm not with that. And just tuck it right away. It's great. It's a great option. It's I come so far. Anymore. It's come so far in just like, what, 10, 15 years? Crazy. So look. That's the motherfucking news. That's the fucking news. Let's get I the did it. fucking All right. going. I got smoke Trump. a J throughout. I took a dab that collapsed my soul. Fucking I, beautiful. I, I'm gonna. I got time. <clears throat> Shit. I got time. Let's take yeah. a commercial break real quick while I wet my gullet. And okay. then, yeah, I'm killing this show. I'm fucking killing it. Let's right. go. Take notes. Yeah. Tune in every Tuesday night from 9 to 10 p.m. for Four Homie Presents Talking Turf with District Dabbers, you heard? And then I want to hit this right quick, too. It's your boy, Jay, from District Dabbers. Holla at your guala. If you're from Australia, holla at your guala, you heard? There you go. Well, he's high on turf, bro. You are on turf. He's on the next, he's on the next bus. He's on the next bus. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at your glasses. I get very macho man, yeah, Randy no, Savage. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh! Yeah, you know, oh, yeah. Yeah. Yo, so, yeah, we're talking turf, baby. So, all we do is talk turf every fucking day. Definitely every Tuesday. Don't forget to tune in for the slab hour, too. Look at my vein. Saying it with sincerity. You can, Saying it with conviction. You can hear this. You can hear it. Diamonds in there, bro. There's a, a gas muffin in here. Come closer, cameraman. Let's see if you can hear.
Fucking March 29th, man. Make sure you pull up for another installment of the Vintage Fucking Let's Crew. Fucking go, Vintage the Crew. Fucking gang gang since Potty Train, you heard? Let's go, Vintage Crew 202. So look, man, I want to thank everybody for coming out tonight, man. My, my amazing studio audience, man. Without you guys, yeah, 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 the show yeah, yeah. just wouldn't work. You know what no I'm saying? Doubt, so no doubt. let's make some noise for the motherfucking studio hey. audience. Hey. Fuck Trump! We're here every week, man. We Look. turn up every fucking week at the same time. You guys are always welcome to be here. We're at 2622 Georgia Avenue, Northwest, Live. right across the street from Howard University. You know what I'm saying? You can pull up. You can be a part, man, of, of, of what I love to. I tell, I tell anyone that'll listen to me, man. We're all making history together. And when they write the history books, we're going to be in those books together because we're helping pushing the movement forward. You know what I'm saying? Like an agenda forward. We're making history together every fucking day. So I want to thank you all for making history with me. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my support staff. Without my fucking, my team, it does not happen. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just does not go down. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? Without you guys, it's not possible. Uh, shout out to my fam city. You know what I'm saying? My yeah, nigga yeah, rode, yeah, yeah, yeah. he rode 75 electric scooters from New York City all the way to Washington, D.C. Let's go. It was amazing. It was an amazing feat. I'm gonna have him document his journey next time. It was so yeah, sick. Yeah, 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 There's a little yeah. Manito City right here. He did a good job. You know what I'm saying? And, and he's not quite done. I'm about to fucking work him like a slave. Wow, that's rough, man. That's rough. Pause. That's rough. That sounded crazy. That sounded way. Yeah, it did. Crazy. I fixed it though quickly because I caught that. I'm not. Mm. A, I'm a G. G's don't say crazy shit. So now I'm going to take this motherfucking dab. Yeah. All right, shout out to my bro Jacob on the boards, man. You'll you, you be having me looking like a zillion bucks. All right. It's your boy Jay all day, yep, a.k.a. Yep. District Dabbers, Dabbers, a.k.a. One of one. One, 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 one. None before me, none to come. come, come, come. This is Talking Terps, man. Holla at your guala. If you're from Australia, holla at your koala, yeah. <laughs> Fuck Trump. We here every fucking Tuesday. 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 